Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see how you can save your Salesforce storage costs and utilize SharePoint document management capabilities with CP Document Extractor. CP Document Extractor helps you store your Salesforce documents in SharePoint where they belong while maintaining links for them in Salesforce. Let's see it in action. Here is my Salesforce org. We support all Salesforce orgs with API access. Let's upload a PowerPoint presentation to one of the Salesforce objects. We support all default objects as well as any custom objects you might have or might create. Let's take the account objects, for example. At this moment, CV Document Extractor will get a notification that a new document was uploaded. It creates the corresponding folder structure in SharePoint and places the documents there. It will then replace this document here in Salesforce with a link pointing to the document which is now in SharePoint. This process doesn't require any interaction from Salesforce end users. Clicking the documents or stop document to be more accurate will get the document from SharePoint. If it's an editable document, I could as well edit it. Feel free to upload any document of any size and type as long as it's supported by both Salesforce and SharePoint. Let's upload a PDF document to the same account. In few seconds, after the document is stopped, clicking it will also get it from SharePoint. You can upload document revisions which will get stopped as well to SharePoint. The document links object here is optional. It gives you a list of the documents stuck to SharePoint along with the exact location where they reside. The folder structure in SharePoint will always replicate the record structure in Salesforce, which makes it easier for you to find your documents in SharePoint in case you need to get them from there. As you could see, the documents, which I uploaded to the account earlier, are placed in a folder with the account name under a root folder called Accounts. If we upload a document to a contact which is not related to an account, the documents will be placed in a folder with the contact's name under a root folder called Contacts. What if we upload a document to a contact which is related to an account? In this case, you'll have this folder structure in SharePoint. Accounts, account name, contacts, contact name, and there you'll find the document that you uploaded there. Looking at our SharePoint document library here, we could see the folders created by CB Document Extractor and how the folder structure mirrors Salesforce record structure. We support all SharePoint servers, on-prem and online. With CB Document Extractor, you could as well send emails with attachments Document Extractor will transfer the attached files to SharePoint only after you send your email. Your external users will get the actual attached files and only then your files will be sent to SharePoint. You could still search for your files in Salesforce even after they are transferred to SharePoint as CB Document Extractor keeps the file name and extension. The product is packed with features. It's easy to install and configure. It works with any SharePoint server and any Salesforce org with API access. It works with the Salesforce mobile app and much more. Contact us for more details, a live demo and to start your free trial. As always, thanks for watching.